What's Gucci Dragon Army? It's your boy Uriah Evans Dragon 77 back with another video finally. I know it's been forever since I've uploaded and I apologize about that. I had some school stuff I had to take care of that needed my full attention, but I'm back. And I'm finally here to give you a video. So for the past few months, I have been reviewing two different sets of headphones. And in case you didn't know by the title of the video, I'm sure you've already seen hundreds of these on the internet by Unbox Therapy, everything Apple Pro, yada, yada, yada. But I'm going to give you guys my own take on it. Today, I will be telling you my review on the Apple AirPods Pro and the Powerbeats Pro, also by Apple and beats. So let's just go ahead and get this started. Yes, I just dad hit on me. And before I forget, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you activate the notification bell every time I upload a video. Now with that out of the way, let's get this started. So I wanted to do this for a very long time because I mean, I am a huge tech nerd. Now, for these products, I will be reviewing the pros and the cons. I do love Apple products. I'm a huge supporter of Apple. But I also am here to give you guys the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right, so let's get this video underway. So the first product I'm going to review is the Powerbeats Pro. Now, these were the first pair I got, okay? So first of all, as you'll notice, the case is significantly bigger not to mention the earbuds themselves. All right, so let's have a look at these, shall we? Now, as you can see here, they have an over-the-ear hook design with a in-the-ear ear tip. Now, these come in, these come with uh, four different ear tips, and basically they're like AirPods, but not really. There's a bunch of differences. First of all, let's go over the size. As you can see, uh, compared to the uh, AirPods Pro, significantly bigger. Okay, significantly bigger. All right, now, one of the things I do not like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cons. One of the things I do not like, this does not support wireless charging. It comes with a, USB to lightning cable that's black, which I think is a smart move by Apple. They really need to make black AirPods. Come on, Apple, what's your deal here? All right, but enough about that. Uh, I'll get back to the cons later. All right now, let's get back to the point of the video. Now, these are loud and clear sounding. They fit over the ear very good, like so. I'm not gonna put these on because I'm using my phone because boy's a little bit broke right now from waiting on this video um so i use these the whole time i was in california and afterwards and i will say these are very good workout earbuds they're not the best but they're good like they get the job done both these and the airpods pro are ipx4 water resistant which means uh, you can like get a little bit of water on them, get some sweat on there, and they'll be perfectly fine. Now, from the reviews I have read from Apple and multiple other YouTubers, that the IPX4 does deteriorate over time with multiple use. So yeah, watch out for that. Um, now, they include the Apple W1 or H1 chip, I believe. Um, I, I know they do have the chip, I just don't know which chip it is. And which means you'll get that same AirPod screen that pops up every time you open it near it for a short amount of time. And it's a quick pairing process, very nice. It does work for Android, but you don't get that Apple signature slide up Jarvis screen or whatever which I think is pretty disappointing, but then again, it's Android. Not hating, just saying. Now, um, let's talk about specs, all right? Now, in case you'll notice, let me get out an AirPod here. All right, 
you'll notice that these are significantly bigger than the AirPods. I know that's a constant factor, but you know, it's whatever. Um, another problem I do have with these is that you do get ear fatigue over with long-term use, which in case you don't know what that means, uh, say you have a pair of headphones on for like a long period of time. Your ears start to get sick of it and you just want to take them off. I can wear these for about two hours and then my ears just start getting sick of them. At most, I'll wear them for an hour and then I'm done. But uh, aside from that, these will stay on your ears very well if you're doing like extreme running and hardcore training. Um... Now let's talk about some more cons about this product. Like I said earlier, these do not support wireless charging, which I think is a major flaw by Apple, considering how they provided wireless charging for the second gen AirPods and the AirPods Pro. What the heck? Also, if you order these off the Apple website, you cannot get that free custom engraving, which is exactly what I did with mine. Uh, I had to get mine engraved via third party, which it turned out good. You got, you got to choose where you wanted it. It turned out good. I even got my friend's AirPods uh, engraved from that same place. Turned out really nice. Um, if I, would, if I uh, was an engineer at Apple, one of the things I would do if I was making this case smaller would be to atta attach and detach the ear hook to fit inside the lid. That may be a future idea that they might do, I'm not sure. But all in all, I would have to give the Powerbeats Pro a four out of five stars. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Now, let's talk the big boy, the main reason I'm sure you all are here, the AirPods Pro. Now these, another reason I couldn't upload was because I had to wait on these to get here. Uh, as you know, during Christmas time, Apple was out of stock. You cannot find these at the Apple store. You cannot get these off Amazon because everything was backward. I had to wait a month for these, but they finally came. One of the reasons that they took longer was because of the free Apple engraving. Now, let me tell you guys something about the free Apple engraving. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um... It's nice. It's clean. Like, you don't even feel that it's there. It's nice. Uh, one of the things, though, is that for some reason it takes longer. Like, say, if I ordered AirPods today, they would be in by two or three weeks later just because of the engraving. Now, these only work if you get AirPods or an iPod. I don't know if they still do that anymore. I'm just guessing. But uh, yeah, you can, what, the way they're doing it now is that you can get a bigger engraving before it was only small. You can get a bigger engraving and certain emojis. Uh, now, not to waste any more time on that, let me give you the specs. IPX4 water resistant uh, includes active noise cancellation. Now, I don't have a, a, an older pair of AirPods to compare, but... As you'll notice, the case, instead of looking like this, it looks like this. So when you open it, you get that nice open lid outside LED display. All right. Pairing button on the back to indicate flashing lights or if you want to pair them to a new device. All right. Now, one thing you'll notice, like I mentioned earlier, this stem, it, the AirPod itself is like differently proportioned in size. The area around the earbud itself is bigger, but the stem is significantly smaller, which I think personally is a better look. That's just me. You know, it doesn't look like you have toothbrushes sticking out of your ears. You know, it, it just looks nice. Now, the one thing that I thought was an interesting move on Apple's part was that they got rid of the double tap feature. You know, like with typical first and second gen AirPods, you just had to do that well the way for you to do this is you see the sensor here there's a little in there's a little indentation you just tap that lightly and it'll make a clicking noise indicating that you've either played paused or skipped a video or 
music track. Now, uh, if you hold it in for a long period of time, you can switch from active noise cancellation to transparency mode, which is what this is. This is actually a microphone, which gets rid of some of the ambient noise, but not all of it. It also allows for better sensations. Like the best way I can describe it is like if you were a bat. Like everyone knows bats have amazing hearing. All right. Now, these do come with two other extra ear tips. Uh, in case you lose them, you can get them for like two bucks off it, off the Apple website. You know, it's it's not that bad. Um, the interesting thing I thought was about about these AirPods was uh, Siri can now read messages to you, which is also included in the Powerbeats Pro. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, <clears throat> so if you go to your settings and the Bluetooth settings, right? Uh, and if you click the info icon on your AirPods Pro, it will also give you the option of a custom fit ear test. Now, this doesn't work accurately all the time, but most of the time it does. And it will tell you like what ear tips are a good seal for you, which is which will make uh, the active noise cancellation a lot better. Um, so the way it works is you, you have to have both AirPods in, okay? And you click it and it'll play like a little song and stuff and it will indicate with two green chip marks that they are both a good seal. Now let's list the cons. They're not the greatest, but they're not the worst. Okay, I do find sometimes that my ears sometimes get too moist when I have the silicone ear tips in. And they, and they will sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they will fall out. Like if I'm doing like any big motion or if I'm just laying down on my head back, they'll fall out of my ear. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. Now, I do have to complain also a little bit about the case. Um, first of all, Actually, I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm having a brain dead moment right here. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> um. Aside from that, not a big difference in battery compared to the second gen and the first gen. Um, the active noise cancellation does drain the battery a bit, but not much, depending on how much you use it. I like to switch in between a lot of times. I use transparency mode. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm actually just getting over a cold right now. So forgive me if I'm a little brain dead right now. Um, <coughs> a lot of times I use transparency mode because I talk to people a lot and a lot of people talk to me. So, yeah. Now, I would have to give the AirPods Pro... A four and a half out of five stars. I know this has probably been a terrible review, but it's the best I got. So, would I recommend these products? Yes, I would. Because despite their flaws and size comparison, both of these are really good products. You can buy them off the Apple website. You can buy them on Amazon. Do what you want. I still think these are pretty good headphones. They're not the best, they're not the worst.